Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Deputy Speaker. Honorable President, congratulations on your elevation to the High Office. Honorable President. Honorable Members, the member has not we, even started also, speaking. We also add, Order, please. We also add our voice of appreciation for you announcing the century Sorry. of Nelson Mandela Speaker, and uh, Albertina Sisulu. Chair. Uh, sorry, Honourable. Yes, Honourable, please take your seat, Honourable Member. I'm saying honorable that the uh, point of order, Chair, we did yeah. not, not hear Honourable Lekota when he was congratulating the President. His voice was very low. We thought he can raise his voice proper. I think the President heard seat. me, uh, 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 Speaker. <laughs> we, add also, we also add our voice to the appreciation of you announcing the century of President Mandela and Albertina Sisulu. These are two of the giants of our history from whom we learned uh, a lot and for whom, to whom we are ex extremely uh, appreciative. Last Thursday, we joined you at the, when you took the oath of office. You, annou you, you, you announced the following uh, the Chief Justice, that you would obey, observe, uphold, and maintain the Constitution. The following day on Friday, in the evening, you now announced in your speech that you would exp expropriate land without compensation. The, que the question that confronts us is that this constitution, if, if it is this constitution that you are swearing allegiance to, it says, section 25, it says that no one may be deprived of their property. It also says, it also says that where expropriation ha happens, it must be with compensation. The question therefore that must arise is whether you took your oath to this constitution or to another constitution. Because, uh, because uh, on a point of order, we must raise the question. We must uh, raise the question. Honorable Lekota, if you take are, your, Honorable Lekota, do take your seat, sir. Yes, what's the point of order? I wanted to ask uh, if Honorable Lekota has been paid by uh, fascists of the Nationalist Party to come and squash the land honorable programs. Honorable member, Kumbi Chair. That's not, Kumbi 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 Chair. Kumbi Kumbi Chair. Yeah. What Kumbi alternative Kumbi do you Kumbi have for us honorable. to have back the land? Honorable. Deputy honorable. Speaker. Deputy what Speaker. did you go to Robben honorable. Island to do? Honorable. Something is wrong honorable. with this What were you doing in Robben Island? Honorable Ngrozi. Honorable Ngrozi. What were you this doing in Robben Island? I'm now left with 45. Honorable Ngrozi. No. This is sabotage. This is 145. I haven't spoken for a minute. And this thing is 1 minute 45 left. This is a sabotage. I've been watching this thing. It's only, I haven't spoken for a minute. And this thing is 1 minute 45 left. No, something must be corrected. You must correct this. You give me 4 minutes and in no time this thing jumps to 145. It can't be like that. Hon honorable, uh, the, honorable Deputy Speaker. No, it cannot be like that, sir. Honorable you member. You cannot say that I've spoken for a minute. Four minutes has go gone down to one minute 45. No, honorable sir. Honorable Lekota, let's, no. let's explain to you, sir. As soon as anybody raises a point of order, the clock is stopped. But it says even as you are, Even as you are talking now, it's been... Stop, it hasn't no, moved. But I had not spoken for a minute. Is one now is left one no, no. forty five. Honorable Lakota. Honorable Lakota. How can it be one forty five? Anybody who's honest, this is not one forty five left. I can't honorable be left with one forty five. Yes, please take your seat. What's your point of order, honorable? Remember? No, we want no, to offer him no, extra minutes no. on condition he says right things about land. No, no. Honorable Lakota. That clock only works, as you notice now, it stopped when you speak. 
I could not have spoken. No, you can't be sitting there and complaining, Honorable Lekota. Please proceed, Honorable Lekota. Deputy President, I have to raise this question. Are you going to take the properties of the great grandchildren of Order. the Indian indentured laborers who came here? Order, Whose properties are you going to take? No. Are you going Order. to take Order, the Honourable properties members. of Order. the French Huguenots and German refugees Order. who came here running away from religious wars in Europe? Point of order. The Whose properties are you going what, to take? What's your point of order? Is it going Honorable to be Lekota? the properties of the great grandchildren? Honorable of the Lekota? slaves that came from Malay Peninsula Honorable and Lekota? from the Philippines Island? Honorable Lekota? Whose properties are you going to take? Please take your seat. Please, you must let us know. What's your point of order? The, the point of order, uh, Deputy Chair, is that uh, we have just uh, been addressed. There was a state of the nation not, not long time ago by the president of the country. We don't have the deputy president in the house here. Honorable, honorable member, Lekota that's okay, that's okay. Just Take your seat, honorable to member. Date. Just to be up to date with the processes. It's corrected. Please. Take your seat, honorable member. Go ahead, honorable Lekota. Honorable president, I apologize for that. I did, I do want to ask these questions. Are you going to take the properties of the great grandchildren of the Indians who came here to grow sugar cane in Natal? And if so, why? Are you going to take the properties of the people who arrived here, enslaved from the Malay Peninsula, whose leader, Obdurrahman Mortula, is lying on Robben Island? Members, whose properties order. are going to be taken? Honorable and who are you going to give Honorable this? Uh, this uh, Honorable Schenke wants to take it. What's the point of order, Honorable Member? Honorable Deputy Speaker, I was yes. just saying that I can hardly hear what Mr. Lakota is saying. And I yeah. find what my colleagues are doing is yeah. quite distasteful. Yeah. And, and not democratic voice. Want to hear? If he's talking out of his chair, not talking through his head, let's hear that and then respond to him. I just wanted to hear. I'm not, I have nothing against you being angry about what he's saying, but I'd but like just to hear. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Can we please work with that? Uh, I think the Honorable Telezi is correct. Go ahead, Honorable. Uh, but the answer is Lekota. yes. Stop no. asking questions. So I've given you the Honorable answer. Malema, yes. Nobody gave you the authority to do that. Go ahead, Honorable. Well, uh, uh, Deputy President, in that case, are you going to um, are you going to amend the Bill uh, of Rights? President, do remember. Are you going to amend the Bill of Rights, Comrade President, so that South Africa must know oh, that this Constitution members, is no order. longer relevant under your leadership? No. Are you going to take the Bill of Rights? Deputy Are you going Speaker. to take our rights under the Bill of Rights? We really need to know that reply. Deputy Speaker. And we cannot not ask that question today. Deputy Speaker. We ask it and right. we want to know. Honorable if you are Lekota. going to give this Honorable land, you said Lekota. something, you are going to give the please land take your seat. to our people. Now please tell us who is not our people in this country? Who is our Honorable people? Member. Who is not our people? Who is I'm not, I'm not one of you. Well, what are you raising on? It's Honorable a matter, it's a matter that the, the president the, will answer. Honorable Lekota. Who is not our people? Who Deputy is Speaker. our people? This constitution says all oh, of us are South Africans, members. and all of Honorable us Lekota. have got the same rights. So leave the howlers aside. Deputy Speaker, Honorable who Lekota, are you going to give seat. the land to? Honorable you take Lekota. it from whom, and to whom are you going to give it? We want to answer. Thank you, seat. What are you raising, Honorable Member? <laughs> I want to check if Mr. Tara Lokota can take a question. Honorable Lukota. I'm asking questions. You can answer them. <laughs> President, seat, if you are yeah. going to take the land, are you going to give it to Basutu? Or are you going Point to give of order, to which section of the population? Point of order, Who is no, our people? Members, I must not order, 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 order. Who is our people? Who is not Point our people? Order, order, the, na the National Party used to say, Others are Point Europeans, order, others sir. are non-Europeans. Honorable No, Lekota. who is Point our order, people, sir. who is non-our people? I want to know that. No, my time is not finished. Honorable Lekota. 
Just hold on. What's the, what's that point of order, sir? Uh, thanks for the opportunity, chair. I've always said that your sessions are always keeping us awake. Thank you. No. <laughs> Honorable Lekota, please continue. Sir, I your... still want to know whether we... the, the president, I still want to know whether you will take the properties of the French, of the great great children of the uh, French Huguenots, the German uh, refugees, all of these people that came here. Your time the has expired. The people that came now, to Kimberley to dig diamonds. Honorable member, the people that your time came has expired. To dig gold. Are Honorable Kota, I'm switching off your mic. Become their, because their roots lie outside of here. Honorable Kota, your time has expired, sir. Honorable Gungubele.